Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and we are back to boondocking on the east side of the Cascade Mountains of Washington State, just outside of the town of Leavenworth. Come along. The entire town of Leavenworth, on the eastern slope of Washington's Cascade Mountains, underwent a civic initiative that began in the 1960s to transform into a mock German Bavarian village inspired by the Danish-themed town of Solvang, California. The result is a major four-season tourist destination, with festivals nearly every month and a multitude of events year-round. The town was officially incorporated in 1906 centered on a small timber community along the Great Northern Railway line that stretched from St. Paul, Minnesota to Seattle. A relocation of the railroad to nearby Wenatchee in the 1920s led to a steep decline in Leavenworth's economy that continued into the 1950s when the town turned to tourism and recreation to revive its fortunes. Numerous shops and boutiques provide strolling and window shopping opportunities during the day in Leavenworth. Come evening, the focus shifts to dining and nightlife, with diverse offerings ranging from the expected Bavarian restaurants and beer gardens to unique establishments serving delicacies like crepes. Dinner for me tonight consists of some excellent Wiener Schnitzel from Ludwig's. Waterfront Park is immediately adjacent to the center of town, where visitors float the Wenatchee River on hot summer days. We're boondocking with our friends Pat and Dale, about 20 miles from Leavenworth on National Forest land at the end of Lake Wenatchee State Airport's grass airstrip. This provides us with the unobstructed skies we need for solar energy production and for Starlink, where it's about 15 degrees cooler at 2,000 feet of elevation than it is lower down in town. There are a couple of small planes flying into and out of the airport several times per day giving us some free entertainment right at camp.
we've had a friendly visit from a forest ranger who wanted us to know that in the event of a wildfire, this end of the airstrip is used as a staging area for firefighting crews. So there's the possibility that we may have to move if a fire breaks out nearby. We've provided our phone numbers in case the need arises suddenly while we're away from camp. When we come back following a quick ad break, we'll bring you along soaking in Nason Creek, exploring Lake Wenatchee State Park and kayaking in the lake, and learning about the region's rich history. So stay tuned. It's been hot during this week in late July, so we've spent some time cooling off in beautiful Nason Creek, only about a mile from our campsite. When we returned to camp, we were startled to find a wildfire crew and their helicopter parked adjacent to our RVs. A small wildfire has been spotted on a nearby hillside, but the crew chief has assured us that their visit to the airstrip will be brief and we're not in their way. Sure enough, 30 minutes later, the crew has departed to drop two smoke jumpers at the fire. They haven't returned at all during our stay. Our campsite is located immediately adjacent to Lake Wenatchee State Park. Lake Wenatchee is a glacier and snowmelt fed lake that covers nearly 2,500 acres and reaches a depth of 244 feet. The state park covers 492 acres at the lake's eastern end, in two sections split by the Wenatchee River. There are 197 campsites here, although many are too small for today's RVs, especially in the campground in the park's south segment, where the swimming beach is located. We'll take advantage of the lake's proximity to our camp to do a little kayaking on its crystal clear waters, even though today's wind is producing a lively chop on many portions of the lake.
I found myself providing a bit of assistance to a paddleboarder and infant who were having difficulty getting back onto their board. When we come back following another quick ad break to pay the bills, we'll visit the gold mining camp of Liberty and tour the excellent Kashmir Museum in Pioneer Village. So stick around. About an hour's drive from our camp, Liberty is one of several gold mining camps that sprang up after gold was discovered here in 1873. While there are some original buildings that still remain and form the Liberty Historical District on the National Register of Historic Places, residents have added some other structures designed to welcome visitors in an historical vein. At one time, Liberty had a school, post office, hotels, general store, meat market, saloons, dance hall, and more, all serving a population of only 200. For a more thorough history of the area, visit the surprisingly excellent Kashmir Museum in Pioneer Village, between Leavenworth and Wenatchee. The museum explores the area's cultural, human, and natural history throughout extensive exhibits indoors and a recreated Pioneer Village outside, constructed from original buildings relocated to the site from around the region. Admission costs eight dollars for adults, and senior, military, AAA, and other discounts are available. The museum features over 13,000 square feet of Native American objects, pioneer artifacts, geological specimens, taxidermy, and ornithology. Thank you. 
the cabins in the Pioneer Village are furnished with antiques from the late 19th and early 20th centuries. So we truly hope that you've enjoyed exploring the Leavenworth area with us. Coming up next week, we're going to be boondogging again in the Blue Mountains. So if you're not yet a Grand Adventurer, now is the perfect time for you to go smash that little subscribe button right down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen and ring that notification bell to be sure that you never miss a Grand Adventure, which we premiere every Wednesday evening. We'd be truly honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. Understand, it is extremely important to us that if you like this episode, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up down below. And while you're down below, that's where you'll find the comments section where we always love to hear from you. So until next Wednesday, please remember life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.